In this video, Dr. Jordan Peterson explains the importance of what you believe and how you produce positive emotions. Your belief system is not merely conceptual. You act it out. And that's really important. And so, and it isn't also not the belief system that protects you. It's the fact that other people have organized a society around you predicated on that belief system and the society works. Like, it's not a psychological, society isn't a psychological phenomena. You have a representation of it, and the representation in part is a psychological phenomena. But the fact that you can sit here in relative peace, harmony, security, warmth and light is not a psychological phenomena. It's embedded in the world. So a lot of what protects you from death anxiety isn't a psychological structure that stops you from being afraid. It's an actual structure that stops you from dying. And so, both are right, but you can't forget about the most fundamental one, right? The most fundamental one is the most fundamental one, and if, if an events occur, maybe even social conflict, and I perceive that the consequences of that social conflict is not only a disruption of what I believe, but also a disruption of the society that, that protects and shelters me, then, of course, I'm going to respond negatively to that, and it's not for only for merely conceptual reasons, it's because if the substructure of the society is actually destroyed I'm going to freeze to death in the dark immediately so we don't want to over we don't want to make things more psychological than they actually are and we have to remember that these structures the dominance hierarchy is represented but it also exists out there in the world and it's a real thing you're going from point A to point B and you're looking at the world through that framework so that framework also configures your perceptions and it also configures your emotional responses and so it's variable but within the variability there are constants and the constants are you're going somewhere you come from somewhere and when you go from one to the other there's only three things that can happen something you want that's a good thing that gets you to where you're going and it validates the theoretical integrity of your perceptual frame that's an important thing right it, it does two things you get to where you're going and it provides evidence that your current model is actually functional so if you fail both of those things go into question one is you're not getting where you want to go that's a problem but the worst one is oh the whole system that you're using to try to get to where you go also might be wrong and you don't know where okay so that's things that happen the way you want them to happen that gets you to where you're going validates your model that produces positive emotion the way it produces positive emotion is by activating the dopaminergic system the dopaminergic system is embedded it has its roots in the hypothalamus and the hypothalamus is roughly split into two parts one part pops up subpersonalities that are charged with dealing with fundamental biological necessities so aggression, hunger, thirst, sexual activity, temperature regulation you know, the real basic animal-like drives, so to speak, that have to be gratified in order for you to survive half the hypothalamus deals with those things and then the other half deals with exploration and so that's pretty cool because what it implies is that the urge to explore and the capability of responding to things that serve as markers on your way to a goal that system is about as old from a phylogenetic perspective as the systems that regulate such things as hunger it's a very very fundamental fundamental and deeply rooted system and so we're not talking about something that's peripheral or that's only cognitive or that's only a manifestation of a few thousand years of culture it's deep and it's so deep that you can't even fight with it